Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 5th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you are going to hit the subscribe button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And let's get to it. So we'll start by looking at the, the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we are up 2% today and hitting the 200 moving average. Yes, this went just absolutely bananas today. When expectations were that this was going to fall back towards the 50 moving average, it just turns around and takes your head off. But we have not crossed the 200 moving average yet and until we basically close above these two candlesticks here and basically clear also this uh, these two candlesticks, um, I'm not going to be uh, that surprised if we basically turn around and head back down. So. There's a lot of hype in the market today. For example, the, one of the main reasons why this is so uh, doing so well is because uh, Elon Musk uh, put out a, uh, a tweet where he's basically saying, saying, saying that he has bought 9% of Twitter. And of course, Twitter uh, jumps 30% uh, due to a tweet. So um, yes, that is one of the reasons and the market just technically went bananas after that. But it is still struggling here at the same place where it has been struggling for quite some time now. So we do, did break out of this wedge pattern and uh, we headed towards the 50 and then the 200 moving average, but we are struggling here at the 200 moving average. We can write it up around this area here. This has proven to be a major resistant for for the Nasdaq. And it's until we basically break above this level and start trading above here that, yes, the next level will be roughly 16,000 and then up to 16,660. Um, if we get rejected here, uh, then the 50 moving average down at 14,000, uh, give or take, and then afterwards that down to the very lows. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that they have all turned around. We can see the MACD is now very bullish, Stochastic is very bullish, and so is the RSI. So momentum has completely changed to the upside, but still we need to take out this major resistant area in order to go significantly higher. So if you look at the S&P 500, very similar here, here. We, can see, we can see that we have bounced off the 200 moving average, and now it looks like we're heading towards 4,637. It is up roughly 0.76%. Not as, it's not doing as good as the NASDAQ at this current stage. And uh, at this current stage, it looks like we may test this area again. If we turn around here, then the 200 moving average at 4,500, uh, 4, give or take, will be supportive. Same will go for the 50 moving average at 4,414. And after that, we could head towards the very bottom. There is still, there's still talks of, um, of additional sanctions. And as long as that is gonna be the headlines, we will see massive amounts of volatility in this market. But it, it has break, broken up out of this wedge. And the uh, question is whether or not we go back to the all time highs. Uh, that will be seen. That will be seen. If you look at the techni if we technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bullish, stochastic is also bullish, and RSI is bullish. So momentum is definitely to the upside at this current stage. So Dow Jones, very similar here, but we have not broken above the 200 moving average, trading at the uh, 30 uh, 35,000 give or take at this current stage. If we drop from uh, drop from here, then support is down at the uh, 34.3 K, K. And after, then after that, we may drop to the very bottom. Breaking above this uh, resistant area and this resistant area, then we may go back to the very all time uh, to the all time highs here up at uh, 37 K. But at this moment, technical indicators are fairly flat. It's not as bullish as uh, the Nasdaq um, or the S and P 500. Uh, but it is still in, red, in, in green today at 0 0.20. If you look at the European market, it looked uh, dismal in the beginning of the day. It was ready to basically fall apart and then it rallied. So we're up roughly half a percent. It's not doing very well. We are still below the 50 moving average and we haven't gotten to the 200 moving average. We are still struggling here at uh, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement around this area here of 14.5 uh, to 14.5. 
14.9 and if we get rejected here and drop below 14.2 then we may very well go and retest the very bottom i think that is where we are going but it is to be seen we need to break above below here in order to drop and break above here in order to test the 200 moving average and 200 moving average will be a massive struggle for this market macd is 11 golf the stochastic is, is bearish and the RSI is flat. So technical indicators are technically pointing to lower level levels, but, but it's, it is an encouraging sign that we're up roughly half a percent today. If we look at the Wix, it is down 5.6%. So it has fallen off a cliff today and uh, below the 200 moving average, but still doesn't mean that we will continue um, dropping. We have seen the VIX drop below the 200 moving average and then just shot up to the air. If there is some kind of bad news about inflation or or interest rates hikes or um, uh, some kind of development in in the war in the east, uh, then we may see the VIX absolutely explode. The I think that is where we're going to see, as we are making higher lows and we're making higher highs, and we have been doing that. Uh, for quite some time now and every single time we get another high it just gets more um, volatile and at this current stage MACD is very bearish stochastic is very bearish and we're approaching oversold conditions and usually it hits oversold conditions and then just takes off and doesn't even get close to that sometimes but getting close to oversold conditions this really can basically take off and as most of these stocks are very very overbought at this current stage especially twitter uh, then we may see massive uh, drops in if when this starts going the other way so another thing to point out is that the 10-year is still uh, rising, rising. So, so the bond market is basically betting that we will see uh, interest rates hikes in uh, 2022 we will see them but uh, quite aggressive so it's important if, uh, it is uh, forming a flag pattern here and if this flag pattern basically um, if we measure the flag pattern then we may see an increase of 0 0.9 in a uh, roughly 0 0.9 in the 10 year that will get us back to roughly 3.3 uh, and that is where we were uh, around uh, pre in 2009 give or take around this area here. So it's going to be interesting to say um, if this continues at some point, reality will basically settle in then. And uh, if this continues to rally, then it will have a massive negative effect on indices and also on the stocks. So hope you find this helpful. You will support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck. And thank you very much.